guys, it's the 19th of January and Cardiff have finally gotten back to me. I'm not sure if this is a interview invitation or a rejection. I think it's a rejection. Yeah, they've just not said much. And if they wanted to interview me, I feel like they would have done it already. This will be my first live reaction to my UCAS decision, so let's go. Okay, yeah, it's a rejection. It says Cardiff University alternative offer, action required. And you're welcome to come to Cardiff University, but studying a different course. And they've offered medical pharmacology. Yeah, no thank you. Cardiff, nah. Hey guys, I'm finally home. Um, it's actually four o'clock right now. And I'm pretty sure that email came through to me at like 12 o'clock. And whilst at work, I was thinking to myself, wait, this is probably Cardiff just rejecting me. And so I kind of lost interest in the email. And then I forgot that the email actually got sent to me that my track, um, things have changed on my track. And so I went to the gym after work and I've been home for about an hour now. And I just remembered that I, something actually changed on my track. So let me see what it is now. No. No way. Kent has offered me, Kent and Medway Medical School has offered me an unconditional place. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, no, no. Tell me I'm not reading this wrong. Medicine, Kent Medway Medical School, the university or college has offered you an unconditional place. That's, that's certified right there. That is... <laughs> They're not supposed to send me this. They literally, <laughs> they have not they have a meeting with the medical council, like the national council about admissions and they're out here giving places. <laughs> right, I mean, you smashed it. <laughs> Bruh, that is so sick. I'm going uni, finally. Oh. Oh I don't God. care what the others do now. <laughs> I don't care. And Oh, no, nah, this is sick. This is sick. I honestly thought, you know, they sent me this email at 12 o'clock. Oh, I, you were up. I was at work. God, I didn't check it because I wanted to record it. And, and then, then you whilst at work. Well, yeah, then I went gym. Whilst at work, I was like, wait, these guys have a meeting. They can't be yeah. messaging people. And then I was like, oh, it's probably Cardiff telling me they rejected me. And then I got home. Uh, I've been here for an hour because I forgot it actually got here. Wait, what's the other two? Queen's University. Okay. Cardiff and Sunderland. But Cardiff have already told me I'm not in. They've just not done anything. But oh my God. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that is no. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. This is so sick. I actually can't believe it. I actually cannot believe it. I'm not crying, but I'm crying. I'm not crying, but I'm crying. Like, there it is. Oh my God. <sighs> nah, this is, it doesn't feel real. No, this doesn't feel real. Guys, the way Ken set up their admissions is that they interviewed 450 students for 100 places and they said they're only gonna get oh i'm so happy i recorded this no this is no nah, i'm calling my mum i'm calling my mum okay guys we're back and i'm composed <laughs> oh i had to go to work shortly after i actually opened my reaction so i've had about three hours to stew over this and that i still can't believe it honestly i really can't like, i really wasn't expecting this i might have mentioned this already but literally i might have mentioned this already but literally sunderland emailed saying that they're not going to give out any interviews because the gmc wanted to talk to all the medical schools about admissions and I thought that's quite a logical thing to do. And so I assumed that all other medical schools would follow suit and 
hold off on giving out their offers but obviously Kent just don't care <laughs> Kent don't care what the GMC has to say <laughs> I can literally remember the day I finished my UCAT I was thinking to myself this this score that I got literally is 10 points above last year's Kent cutoff do I apply for Kent? baiting it so much I was asking my family, my friends what their opinions were everyone said take the shot and I was still sceptical but in the end I took the shot and oh the shot paid off so Kent was literally the medical school I didn't even think I was going to get into because usually with the recent uptake of sitting the UCAT at home the averages have actually gone up wonder why but um yeah so this means that usually the medical schools also bump their cutoffs and i didn't think that my score was good enough to to surf the up the increase that would be for my year but kent do have a lot of contextualizing um data points in their selection so this is probably what saved me but yeah i was not expecting this but i'm so thankful my interview was literally 15 days ago 15 days ago i was in kent sitting my interview and now on the 4th of february 2022 they've sent me an offer and i would never imagined myself to be in the first lot that they actually get back to and oh just so happy so happy now i'm in it doesn't even matter what the other people say it literally does not matter I'm in, I'm going to uni in September and that just feels great. You can literally ask my parents, ask my friends. All I've been saying <laughs> for the longest time is I can't wait to go to uni. Like uni is going to be so much fun. Like, oh, I just want to be there. And now I can go there doing something I actually want to do. I had the opportunity to go to university last year and Leicester of all universities at Dope Uni, but nah, I wanted to do medicine. I wanted to do medicine and hard work paid off. <laughs> Thursday, 17th of February. An email just came through from Sunderland and I flicked it off my screen as quickly as possible because I didn't want to read it without having the camera on. But let's see what it says. Emails, oh, I think it's a rejection, above. I regret to inform you that you've been unsuccessful in this allocation. <sighs> However, we're looking at your application you may be considered for an alternative non-medical program. It's okay. It's okay. Well, I'm definitely happy this one did not come first. Because if this one came first, I don't even know what I would have done. <laughs> Seeing this honestly just makes me wonder, like, because you guys saw, my, I thought my interview went very well. I just must not have said exactly what they were looking for, which is a shame. But yeah, it just makes me question, like, how well do you need to feel your interview went for it to actually have gone as expected? Or is it just something you can't judge? Because if anything, I would have rated Sunderland my second best performance. Probably then Belfast. But Kent wouldn't be far. Between Kent and Sunderland, I don't know which one felt better, but... Yeah, it's just interesting. It's just interesting. A little bit disappointed. But not, not a catastrophe. Okay, just got an email from UCAS that my UCAS track is updated. And so either this is a reply from Belfast or it's Sunderland and Cardiff updating my rejections. And I'm not sure, so I'm very intrigued to see what it is. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, the date is 2nd of March. It's an offer. 
Queen University Belfast has offered you an unconditional place. Well, that is beautiful. <laughs> oh, just thinking back to the interview right now. Definitely go check out my part one of did I get into medical school and honestly just go to the timestamps and have a look at my interview for Belfast. I came out of there, that is the best I've ever felt in my life to this day. My preparation worked. It worked. <laughs> this is amazing. It would be amazing if I could handpick someone to give this spot to because I know there's definitely going to be somebody out there who deserves a spot but this just wasn't their year. The application process just didn't go their way but I feel very privileged to have got two offers this year and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did it, exactly how to prepare, exactly where to apply because that all matters, that all matters so much. <laughs> The interview was like hard as well. So many. I wish I could tell you guys what they asked me, but just believe me when I say curve balls. But nah, it, it was good. I'm so happy. So I've had a bit of time to let the emotions and just thought process digest. And I've just been messaging my family and yeah, it just feels good, like, I'm at the end, it's finished, I've made it, <laughs> and in spectacular fashion, like, my cousin called it poetic justice, that um, Belfast offered me a place, and honestly, yeah, <laughs> it is, but what I'm most excited for now is what I can kind of give back to you guys, I've got so many ideas or videos to make, and now that I kind of had this credit behind me that I got offers from two universities. Study medicine just makes me that much more credible because I know the stuff that I did works, but you guys might not have believed it unless you saw it work. But now we're all good now, we're all good. But yeah, man, I can't wait to bring you guys on this journey with me. These next five years, five or six years, gonna be great. What's even more satisfying is the fact that this is Belfast's first batch of offers because they said in their debriefing session that the best performers would hear at the end of February and they are about two days late but I guess this is within the same week as the end of February and that the majority will hear towards the middle and end of March and then the final few will hear at the end of April and I just feel privileged and this offer out of all of them definitely means the most because I can kind of see the most growth because I have that reference of last year and yeah I just want everybody to know who is thinking of doing medicine and if you've been rejected before or if you get rejected in this cycle and you've had an interview or even if you haven't I think the only way is up the only way is up and I solely believe that and so you should really not be discouraged to try again. The hard work pays off. The hard work pays off. And yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching my journey through this application process or the end of it. And yeah, stay tuned for lots more, lots more. Yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.